Good day once again, friends, and welcome to Rustic Ridge Farms. I'm your host, Hillhelm. We're in summer of year one here in Stardew Valley. We have about uh, $5,800. We need to upgrade a tool, and let's see what the weather and stuff's going to be like. Here we go. Weather for today is clear and sunny. Next day, clear and sunny. Today's fortunes, oh, mildly perturbed. Well, what to work on that. All right, get some iron. Get that all ready to go. Let's see what else we got. It gives me 10. 10 cooked up. Oh, we can make a gold bar. Let's make a gold bar. That sounds great. And uh, let's make two refined quartz. That sounds good, too. Okay. Time to water. Oh, are you ready? Yes! I don't know what we need that for. That was a mixed seed, I think. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. We're getting some peppers. Peppers are great. What are these little guys? Are these rutabagas or... Radishes. Radishes. That's the word I was looking for. They're radishes. <laughs> Rutabaga. I don't even think that's a thing in the game. Oh, my goodness. Hey, our ancient seeds are getting there, though. Nice little progress there. Getting there. All right, let's uh, let's harvest our peppers real fast. Uh, we do have to take some peppers over to the community center, but I grew a lot because Lewis and also George really like peppers. Also, I think they're an ingredient in uh, what the spicy eel thing. I think you need peppers for that. So that's kind of important. Oh, I heard a what? Does that mean that our cat jumped, or does that perhaps mean that we have a oak resin or? Some sort of very exciting tree sap thing that just happened. I don't know. We'll go check it out in just a minute. Let's get all this done. Water our crops. Check our mushrooms. Maybe eat a couple mushrooms. Which is probably not a bad idea. Quite frankly. We could use the energy. The energy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad we were able to upgrade this watering can. That makes life easier. But I really do need it to rain. Uh, we got to catch that red snapper, and it hasn't rained yet. Also, I should really build uh, real fast uh, some of those lightning rods so that they're just done and ready to go. And maybe I'll do that in just a moment. All right, put those away. Let's eat these, or at least some of them. Get some returned energy in our lives. Very nice. All right, we'll save that last one. Uh, we do have a bonus piece of hay, which I'm not really sure what to do with, but it's there. Okay, let's put these away. And we're going to grab out five of those. We're going to grab our geode friends. We're going to put away a couple of things. Uh, not in there, but we're going to put them away. Here we go. Let's uh, put that stuff in there. Uh, we'll take these for gifts, and we'll bring that for the community center. Okay. Good times. And as we usually do, we'll put some stuff in here that we're not going to need for the day. Uh, we're going to upgrade this, so we're going to go to the forest. I don't think we need the hoe, but just in case we find something interesting along the way, we'll bring it with us. And we've got some, uh, some gifts that we can haul around town. And, uh, what was the other thing I was going to grab real fast? Oh, yeah, we were going to make... We're going to make some of those lightning rods. What else do we need? Bat wings? Iron, refined quartz, and bat wings. Okay. So, iron, refined quartz, and some bat wings. And I think it's ten bat wings per tower. Oh, it's five. Well, that's not bad. Um, we could make six, then. There we go. That leaves me with five iron left. Which is great. And we'll just... Real quick, make some more of those. Okay. So that's doing its thing. We gotta put these out. Um, where do I wanna put them? I think... Let's see. We'll put a couple here. We'll put one over... Yeah, we'll put two over there. 
And we'll put another couple over over here. I don't know if spreading them out actually helps your crops not get hit by lightning or not, but I mean that's the assumption that we're going after, so hopefully that works out. <laughs> Uh, a snail. We wanted a snail also. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Away we go. It's only 10 o'clock. It's not too bad. Oh, there is a piece of forage there. We can grab that on the way home. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's three. Well, three's the magic number, I guess. We can stop at Pierre's if we really needed to. Wow. Doubles of everything so far. Goodness. I think Vincent also likes those, doesn't he? It's like grape, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Vincent like grape. Vince likes grapes. Man, I can't talk today. Do you guys have days like that where, like, you just are unable to talk? <laughs> I have days like that all the time. All right, what do you want? A red snapper. I would love a red snapper, Leia. You are not the only one. Okay, listen. There are dozens of us. Dozens who would like a red snapper. <laughs> Alas... It has not rained. And so here we are. Uh, okay. Geodes first. Oh, well. Lewis is here. <gasps> it's my favorite. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Geodes first. Geodes. Geodes first. All right. A fire opal is that what this? Oh, just a regular opal. Hey, coal. That's always nice. Okay. Iron's all right. I mean, I would prefer items, you know, for the museum. But hey, whatever. Clint, you're batting like a zero. I suppose we could have saved those for a better luck day, but that's okay. Do we already? Yes, we did. All right, well, no big deal. Um, I guess we'll keep those things. I want to get rid of this clay, though, just to have room. And now we need to upgrade our pickaxe. Thank you. Should be ready in a couple of days, he says. Well, let's certainly hope that when it's ready, it's not raining that day too much. Oh, my goodness, a free iron bar. Well, hello. What a fabulous thing to find. All right. So we've gotten all those things. Let's go stop by. Say hi to George real fast. George, where are you? You actually in your home? Oh, and Evelyn's here too. Well, perfect. Here we go. George, here you go. Now, he doesn't love them, but he does like them. He loves leaks. Okay. Now, stop in over here. Oh, hello, Abigail. Uh, would you like some ice cream? Oh, we've given her two gifts. Well, poo. All right, let's uh, let's get selling. Um, we did finish this summer bundle, right? Let's just double check. I th think so. Uh, let's see, summer crops. Yeah, okay. So we need we need the pepper there, which we knew. Fall foraging and winter foraging. Everything else is done. All right, so we did in fact. All right, so we can sell those. We don't need these in our lives. Ha-ha! We almost uh, doubled our money. Okay. So we'll go down. Oh, wait. Can we... Carolyn, do you like ice cream? Hello? Oh, are you sure? I am sure. I don't know how many hearts we have with people, but... Two. We're getting closer to two. I would love to get to two hearts with Carolyn to make some tea plants because then it's just easier to uh, to get places. Demetrius, come here. I'm giving that to you. Uh, Vincent, I have a snail. There you go. Okay. We have gifted people the things. Very good. Now, um, we need to drop off our pepper. And then, I would like to go over to... Uh, well, really what I would like is for the minecar to work. 
be a lot easier to get around and do the fishing and stuff that I would like to do if the mine cars were working. <laughs> Sadly, uh, they're not. So that's going to make life more interesting. I would like to go all the way down to the secret woods also yet today. Okay, well, let's do some fishing for a little while. We'll get a little bit of money out of it. And then, um, let me think, what are we going to do tomorrow? We don't have a pickaxe, so... Hmm. It's going to limit what we're able to do. I need some more copper, honestly. Uh, but I also need to get further down the mine. It's a conundrum. When you stop and think about it. Of course, if it was later in the game, I would just buy whatever I needed. You know, if you had the money. Oh, there's Maru. Hello, Maru. I don't have a gift for you. I'm very sorry. I could talk to you, though, I suppose. Right, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't think we've talked to you yet. Here we go. Have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Guess not. Oh, well, you didn't even give me a chance to answer. I'm happy by myself, you know? I don't need new friends. Okay, well... You know, I will say everybody in this town starts off very, like, closed off to you. Which I find very... Uh, a little... I don't want to say surprising, but a little odd. Like, you would think there would be at least, a, like, one overtly friendly person, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess Pierre sort of fills that role, and then later on gets grumpy, but he mostly fills it because he knows he's going to make money from you. Which isn't quite the reason you want to be, like, friendly in that sense, right? <laughs> a little self-serving friendliness, I suppose. Um, it's kind of funny in a way. Sad in other ways. Well, I guess we could chop down a bunch of trees tomorrow. That would be something we could do. I'm going to save up some money here. Uh, we should probably sell some of those peppers, honestly, also. But I'm going to save up some money and... Um, what's next on the list? A coop, I think, is next on the list. I would like to get that purchased and going. So that's $4,000. Oh, a chest. Oh, a book. Bait and a spoon. And we didn't have the spoon yet. I get the spoon a lot, actually. I mean, not in this playthrough, obviously, but in other playthroughs, I've gotten it frequently. The spoon's quite helpful. Uh, anyway, once we get the coop going and some chickens... Uh, I think what I will save for, ideally, is to get uh, the watering can also leveled up by the end of summer. And uh, what was the last thing? Oh, I would really like the next level of fishing pole. What is this fish? Hey, fish. S excuse me. Excuse me, fish friend. I don't know what you are, but you're all over the place and I'm not a fan of you. Oh, you're a sturgeon, of course. No, don't do that. Of course you're a sturgeon. I forgot you were even here. I already caught you. I only needed one. Isn't that how you get caviar? Is that from sturgeon? I honestly don't remember. I swear, if I didn't look everything up, like, beforehand, I would just know nothing about this game. You would think after hundreds of hours you would know some things, but no. You'd be wrong. A magma geode. Well, hello there. And not just one, but three of them. That's pretty nice. That is, in fact, very nice. Especially when you consider the fact that we still need a lot of items from geodes for the museum. Oh, that would be another sturgeon, I do believe. Oh, and a chest at the same time. That's that's not going to be great for us. Oh, no, no. Now I have to catch you. There was a chest. Now I'm determined. I must catch you, fish. No, no, fish, come back. Oh, please. No, do not, do not leave me or forsake me or abandon me. I would like you to stay on my line, please. Oh, yes, we got it. Come on now. Come on. Let me catch it. Oh, there it is. 
Whew, that was hard work. More geodes. Well, fabulous. And on a poor luck day, what do you know? Mildly perturbed, it says. Well, I would also be mildly perturbed if I was them, I suppose. All right, we'll fish until about six. And then I'll swing back through the northern path to the farm. And then we'll zip on over to the uh, secret woods. Grab some hardwood. Sell all of these fish. Uh, dump off anything else remaining in the chests and all that good stuff. And uh, then we'll just use the rest of the day to chop down some trees, I think. Look for some forage. You know, that kind of stuff. Ah, a rainbow trout. Ah, we are out of room. Uh, let's eat this algae. Just in case we get another treasure chest. Where are you aiming? Bro. That wasn't even the water. What are you doing? Who's controlling you? <laughs> it's almost like there's a hill home in charge of you. Hmm. Yes, indeed. What a fabulous moment of derp. All right, one more cast. Last cast of the day. Whoops. It hit six o'clock and I panicked. <laughs> My bad. My bad. That one's on me. Oh, that was funny, though, wasn't it? Oops. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Alright, there, we have caught many fish. Oh, Abigail's playing a song. Do 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 do. Um, I think we already gave Linus his two gifts for the week, so that's all fine. Although that does reset tomorrow. Oh, do we have a spot? Yes, we do. Grab a grape. Grab another grape. Grapes are delicious. Tasty, 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 tasty. I like grapes. They're so good. I like grapes. Bye now. They're tasty. Bye now. Do you guys like grapes? I like grapes. They're good. Okay, let's put the grape away. Whoop. And we're going to sell these. Uh, what else can we put away? We can put this away and those away and those can all go away. This can go in there. Oh, you know, do we need that aquamarine or do we already... Do we already have it? We do not! Well, I think I know what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to take this aquamarine over there. That's what we're going to do. Okay, okay. Uh, do we need this lures to catch fish faster? I, that's like the lure that I hate the most. I think we're just going to... Can I sell them? I think I can sell them to Willy. I don't know. Can I sell them? Oh, I can. Well, by gosh, we will just sell them in here. There we go. Put the wood away. All right, three more things that we can smelt down. Uh, let's go with more iron, I guess. I think I could make a sprinkler. Do you need gold for a sprinkler? What do we need for that? Hey, nope, stop. Ah, yes, you do. Hey, we can make one quality sprinkler. Look at us go. I don't know where I'd put it, but we'd have one. I mean, so that's cool. What do we got down here? What do you do? Cuts the duration of status in half. Uh -huh, uh -huh. More treasure chests, right? Yeah. Increases bite rate. This is the one I like. That's my favorite one. So, uh, some people use this one, but I don't like that one. I like I like this one. That's my that's my favorite one. Okay, so all of that's working out great. Let's move everything closer together and stop over here at the crab pots real fast. Oh look, we caught some garbage. Hey, that's always what you want to see, isn't it? What do we need for you? <gasps> I bet I can make one of those. Maybe we'll make one of those at the end of the day if I remember. And also if I remember. <laughs> There's no guarantee that I will in fact remember to do that. Excuse me, uh, grass friends. I would like to uh, move through you. Thanks. Well, I, you know, I will say this farm is so much shorter vertically 
than the beach farm. I've been playing the beach farm a lot, and uh, it takes forever to walk all the way top to bottom on the beach farm. Uh, it's a very long walk. <laughs> and this one's like comparatively much shorter. And so I'm always like, oh, it's going to take forever to get down there, but it doesn't really on this farm. So that's kind of interesting to me. And another fiddlehead fern. Very nice. It's kind of fun how many things in this game are actually based on, you know, things that are actually in the world. Um, I said actually too many times. <laughs> but uh, uh, fiddlehead ferns are a thing, and you can cook them. I don't know if you actually make them into uh, risotto like you do in this game, but certainly they're a thing that you can make things out of that's food related. Excuse me, slime friend, I have no desire to kill you, and you don't really do that much damage, so... Listen, if you attack me out of the bushes, however, you have it coming. While I have no wish to kill you, I will not hesitate either, okay? So just back off, man. Silly slimes. Alright, let's take out a couple trees while we're here. We've got energy left. I think there was still some standing over here. Yeah, let's grab these real fast. Chop down trees. All right, now that we have level six foraging, though, and we, we can make those uh, lightning rods, I don't know, beyond eventually maxing out foraging and everything being iridium quality, I, I, I don't know what you get from any of the other ranks of foraging at this point. Uh, I don't remember. Because... I just memorized the things that I actually wanted to, to know and to remember and were important for me, like how you can make batteries. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea at all um, what would even happen at level 7 or what you would get from that. I, I don't know. Uh, and that's a good time. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. Maybe we did get... Uh, Another sap or something. Hey, a resin. Now, if only we could make, you know, a keg. It'd be great. We're just not at that point yet. All right, put those away. Oh, that doesn't go there. All that goes away. You can come to the summer chest. You can just get thrown out. Yeah, that can go in there, though. Uh, fish chest. Very good. Mining chest, also very good. Summer chest. Two. We have two ferns. Hey, moving up in the world. All right. Do I make a sprinkler? Well, we don't have any quartz ready. That's not what I wanted. So I suppose we should take care of that. Okay. Okay. And we ring our bell, and we go to sleep. Hooray for sleeping! So, do peppers make a lot of money? Not really. Um, it's like three fish worth. Or two bass, depending on how you want to look at that. Uh, yep. Those are worth some good money. I think we have enough for a coop. Well, buy Cracky. We do. All right, let's check this out. What do we got? The queen of sauce is going to teach us to cook. And today she's going to teach us to cook baked fish. <gasps> we have fish. Just make sure the fish is fresh. You learn how to make baked fish. Well, fortune teller, what do we have going on? Neutral today. Okay. And the weather for tomorrow is thunderstorm. Ooh. What's this baked fish? What do we need? A sunfish and a bream. You know what we don't have? Either of those. <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, I am going to look in here. And we're going to grab those. We'll put two of those away. And we will make a sprinkler. And then we'll put it somewhere when it's time. 
<laughs> we'll put it somewhere. We don't know where. Just uh, a vague uh, somewhere. That's that's where we'll put it. Somewhere that will save me. Oh. Well, if you're all ready to be harvested, I will be more than glad to harvest you. Is that the spot right there? We just slap it there. We don't have to worry about those anymore. I mean, you know, wherever. Sunflowers are growing. You know, actually, I think... Here, let's... Let's put it over here. There. I think that'll water the ancient fruit spots now, and I don't have to worry about it. Because that is a spot you don't ever want to have to worry about missing. Is ancient fruit. Okay. I wonder if just going top to bottom is faster than left to right. I mean, it's three either way, so... Are you really saving time doing it this way? I'm not sure. There's like an optimal... Like, north-south versus left-right strategy here. I don't know. Our melons are coming along nicely. That's always something you want to see, right? The melons are growing, yes. Now, if we were not going to get the coop right now, what we could do is we could go over to Piers and we could purchase a bunch more seeds for us to be watering. And how many seeds would that be? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 if I wanted to include that spot. So that's 18. 18 seeds is something. Um, and what would that something be? Hmm. We could probably get 18 melons. Right now we can get 10 melons. But then we couldn't afford any chickens. All right. Do I need radishes for anything? Nope. A lot of energy from gold ones. Uh, well, we could just buy some radishes. Well, I think we'll try and get the coop. I think... I think overall that seems to be the best... The best answer. Which means we need what? Wood? Do we need stone too? Yeah, probably. I don't think I need clay. We we'll probably want a silo. It doesn't matter if we build the coop first or the silo first because you're still going to need chickens. So we'll build the coop. And then we'll build the silo. Before we get some chickens. That seems like a good idea. Sap. You don't go there. You you go over here. All right. Away. Stop in a little mushroom cave. Thanks to Demetrius, we have some lovely, lovely mushrooms. Yeah, that we'll eat some of. Restore a bit of energy. Very nice. It's close enough, and we'll put those away. All right, here we go. Let's go see. Say hi to Robin. And build ourselves a chicken coop. This is a little earlier than I tend to build it, honestly, but that's okay. You should do a lot of that towards the end of year one. Uh, like the end of fall, typically. But I kind of want to get it done, so we're going to get it done. Don't mind me just grabbing some more wood. <laughs> and while we're here, we can see what we need for the silo. Silos are cheap, but we need copper, which we don't have.
The coop is not cheap, but we are going to build it. And as I've said before, we're going to put it right over here. Okay, you'll start working. Fabulous. Thank you, Robin. We didn't really bring any gifts now. Oh, I almost didn't see that. A prehistoric hand axe. Well, well, well. We have two items for the museum. Look at that. That's exciting. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, don't think I didn't see you. We'll get back to you in just a moment. But first, we're going to go drop off this aquamarine, or I'll forget. And that will bring us one away from having that bundle done. Just one. Okay, so we need an emerald or a ruby. An emerald or a ruby. That's it. And that bundle's done. And then we need one piece of iridium. So an emerald, a ruby, and iridium. That's all that we need. Hello, Demetrius. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. You're not wrong. I guess that's kind of difficult when you live on a farm. Also not wrong. Hey, at least in winter you don't have to worry about crops. That is where you're wrong because you can grow those winter seed crops. And while not super lucrative, crystal fruit is pretty nice. Oh, what's Penny doing over here? Hello, Penny. I'm getting more knowledge. What are you doing? Do you like to decorate your farmhouse? Not really. It kind of takes a lot of time out of your day. And, um, you know, if the game had like a pause to decorate feature, I'd be okay with it. But since it doesn't and it literally just wastes time, I don't do it. Yeah. It is nice to have your own place to decorate should you wish to decorate. But I don't, again, I don't really do the decorating thing. It, it, it's not uh, It's not for me. It, it, it just, uh, no, it's not no, and here in Hill Home's real life, Hill Home's wife does all the decorating. <laughs> An ore nugget. Why are we saying hi to Clint? Our thing's not even ready, is it? No, I'm still working on it. Ah, it's not ready. Hopefully it's ready tomorrow, Clint. Because, like, you know, we gotta go to the mine, brother. Know what I'm saying? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's see. We got a couple things to drop off. We have this spoon, which we'll put up here. Along with this hand axe. Two rewards. Well, well, well. Uh, we got the skeleton and the rare crow. I'm going to leave everything else here. But we're going to take the rare crow with us. We might need another scarecrow at the farm. I'm not saying that I do. I'm just saying that I might. Uh, maybe we do a little fishing here. Uh, down over by Leia's for a while. And then we'll do our normal run through the secret woods. Cut down a few more trees. And uh, that'll be that for the day. Nothing. A fish. Just in time, too. Well, we almost didn't get that, in, get that out of there. We almost uh, ran into some problems. We could have been seen pilfering from the trash can. And then the children would have thought that we were even more of a weird hobo bum kind of person or something, or a weird creeper, and would not have been friends with us anymore. All right, let's grab that. Always good to grab a treasure chest when you see it, if you think you can manage it. A sunfish, hooray! Okay, so we got some decent stuff there. All right, if we catch enough sunfish... Uh, then maybe I'll take a little break and we'll come back after seven and try and catch some bream and we can make some of that baked fish. Although we do need some wheat still, but we could throw them in the fridge, you know, they'll keep a rainbow trout. You say, well, a piece of seaweed. So exciting. Technically it's algae or algae, depending on how you want to say it. I just like to think of it as seaweed. Even though seaweed's its own technical item in this game. Lake weed. There you go. I wonder why we call lake weed seaweed. Something to think about. Well, Abigail has just been everywhere lately. Is it a sign? But we've seen Maru a lot, too. I don't know. I'm still undecided. I am still undecided as to which of the two of them I shall choose. 
I've made no decisions. That was not full power. What a shame. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. I just want a treasure chest. Well, we are definitely catching some sunfish, which is nice. Right, I think we'll fish till five. And then run over to the woods. Chop down our stumps. And then run back and do a little more fishing if we have energy. It feels like a good plan. A rainbow trout. Hooray. Oh, what a good time. Rainbow trout is fabulous. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually caught a rainbow trout in real life. I have caught bass and uh, red snapper. I caught a shark once, sort of. My line was the first line to hook a shark, I should say, when we were deep sea fishing. And they did not give me the shark. They gave it to somebody else. I was a little put out. A little put out. Uh, what else did we get from that trip? We got uh, Red Snapper. We got... I mean, Grandma caught an octopus. Um, we caught all kinds of stuff. There were, I think, flounder and tuna and... a bunch of things. It was a very interesting trip. Uh, but to me, as I think I mentioned before, most... Most lake fish just sort of, uh, and river fish just kind of taste like lake and river water. They don't really taste like, they're not tasty to me. Uh, I like, I like the sea, the sea fishes. A Dorado! Well, hello there. I forgot you were actually a fish that we could catch. <laughs> Forgive me, game. I have forgotten. Uh, I don't believe I need you for anything. So that's nice. Uh, are you another one? Probably. Trixy little thing, isn't it? An even bigger one! Well, that is a lot of, uh, algae we got there. All right, it's five o'clock. One more. When we catch this fish, we're we're, we're moving on. We go cut down some trees. Oh, this is like the best fish ever. What a, what a what a friendly fish that was. Thank you, Chub friend, for not being difficult to catch. Look at that one flounder. So much energy. All right, we'll chop down a couple trees on our way over. I forget sometimes it takes a little longer than when you have the Iridium pickaxe. And not pickaxe, the Iridium axe. There's like three swings and then that's it for that tree. It actually takes a little while when you have a normal axe. Yeah. Well, the rain is exciting though because we can finally catch that snapper. Grab the red snapper. We'll definitely have to do that. Um, and uh, when we've got that done, I th think the red snapper is the last one that we... Oh, let's stop at the cart before we go. It's the last one that we need over there, so that's cool. Oh, radish, pufferfish, another sprinkler. Oh, much cheaper than the last one. Oh, there's some fiddlehead risotto. See, that's what we can make if we uh, find some more fiddleheads. Yeah. Plum pudding. Jazz likes that. Anchovy, parsnips, beans, a picture, a rare seed. Uh, have we bought a rare seed already? If not, we really need to. I think that I have already purchased one, but uh, if we have not, I really need to get around to that. Also, maybe we should make some hardwood trees over on the farm, huh? Uh, just to... Uh, have that all ready to go. Watch out, it's a slime. Run. He might attack us. And do two damage. See, it's fun. 
Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. Except fear itself. <laughs> so here today, as I record this, uh, it is uh, a very nice day outside. But last night was a very snowy night. We got a ton of snow. And as a result of that, my wife, who is a teacher, and my kids uh, all have snow days today. So they are uh, sledding right now. And they said, do you want to come? And I said, no, I don't really want to go get cold. Thanks. I am going to record some Stardew Valley. So here I am. Recording Stardew Valley. There's a part of me that wants to record like two episodes back to back right now, but I don't think I have quite enough time for that. They should be home fairly soon. Okay, a bream or five would be great. Very good. There's one. Uh, I would like, you know, a couple anyway. Are you another bream? Nope, you are not. Uh, we have four sunfish, three of which are iridium. So maybe I would keep the gold one. That is the problem with catching things that are iridium. Then you're like, but they're worth more money and I want to sell them now. <laughs> and we do definitely need money. Uh, we got to get that silo, don't forget. And uh, we also have to buy some chickens. And I don't remember how much chickens cost. A pike. Do we need a pike? Huh. Are those only at night? Are pike only at night? A night pike? Are they night fishing? Hmm. Unsure. Oh, we are out of space. Well, we don't need those. And we don't need those. We have a lot of both of them. So. What time do we fish to? About 10? 10, 10.30? Yeah. And then walk on up to the house. Sell our fish. Including the one that we got from the garbage can, which cracks me up. I think it's just funny that we uh, got, got a fish from a garbage can. I don't know. All right, what are you giving me? Geodes. G. Ode. Fabulous. We can take those. Maybe we'll get something out of it for once. I, I doubt it. Really, I think at this point what I need is magma and frost and omni geodes, not not the regular ones. Yeah, we'll do one more. One more cast. One last cast. Hooray. Uh, I also need to check and see if we need that resin for the community center, I suppose. The oak resin. Okay, that'll do it. Don't want to push it too late. Ah! A book. We have expanded our knowledge. Now, fortuitously, that was one of the updates. Uh, was it 1.4, 1.5? I don't remember. But there was an update that made it so you could pick those books up even when your inventory was full. I would really like to uh, take care of this, too, while I'm down here. But hmm. Just plant these wherever. No, I can't make it symmetrical. No. Well, that's unfortunate. There, we can do that, I suppose. No, we still can't do anything because we have to take out the... We have to take out the thing and... Oh, goodness. Too much to do. Too much to do. Not enough time. There's never enough time. Put away, put that away, put that away. Those can go away. Over here... Put those where they go. All right. We do have one bream, so we'll keep one sunfish. So, well, hang on. Let's, let's just, let's just run through our fish. See if anything flashes. Nothing. The community center wants none of those things. Okay. Sell the fish. Okay. And we'll put some of the fish away. There we 
go. Now we'll run over here. Grab our crab pot stuff. Okay. What do we need to make that worm bin? A gold bar? Yeah, we used our gold bar. Shame. Shame. Ding, 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 ding. Shame. There's nothing else we can do with it. Yeah, we do have this dino egg. That's nice. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yes, we have used our one and only gold bar. We can make one of those. And we can make two of those. And they'll just cook overnight and be ready in the morning. Ding! Time for sleeping. Go to sleep! Yes, we would love to go to sleep for the night. And that'll do it for this episode of Stardew Valley here in Rustic Ridge Farms. We've made another $3,000. A decent chunk of which was from radishes. So perhaps, since it will be, uh, well, I don't want to a Monday, we can stop and we can buy some crops from Pierre. We've got 3,000. We have plenty of time. It'll be day eight. And uh, even, we have plenty of time even for melons and stuff then. So, cool. I think we'll do that. We'll pick up some more crops. And that'll be that. But... I cannot do that right now, for we are out of time. Our steel pickaxe is ready, which means that we will go mining in the next episode. We have to go pick up our uh, tool, and uh, we got to go catch a fish. And we, uh, we got stuff we got to do, but we'll get it done, never fear. Uh, but until that time, my friends, take care, and we'll see you then.